it turns out they had done um, sort of a survey. They had someone come in and kind of do some kind of survey where they decided what they thought would fit best in the district. I don't know how someone decides that, but apparently we were thinking the same thing. And so they liked the pizza idea. The problem was we didn't know how to make pizza and they wanted to make sure that we could do that. And so we had to do some tastings. So we start like looking up dough recipes on the internet. We're using like a KitchenAid mixer in my rent house. Uh, that's like a small, like, you know, residential kitchen mixer. Um, God, we're, and, and the whole time I'm just like, this is not going that well. And I don't know how to fix it. Right. Cause I can't cook. Uh, so we do our first tasting and everything was great except for the star of the show, you know? So they said, come back. You guys have basically 30 days kind of like get this figured out. We really like you, but you get, your product is not that great. This is, I, this is amazing that this these are the developers that are putting this kind of pressure on, on yeah. you guys to come up with something good. I could appreciate that, though, um, that they did. And so I start kind of panicking because I'm like, I don't know how we're going to figure this out. Uh, I start researching a bunch of things and I find this school in San Francisco, Tony Gimignani's International School of Pizza. And I hit up my parents and I did not, I don't come from a wealthy family. Um, you know, I went to Oklahoma City University on full scholarship or else I wouldn't have gone, been able to go there at all. And so asking them for any financial help, but I had no choice. And so they, they did, they, they put together about $10,000 for me to pay for the class, which was $5,000 to fly to San Francisco, to stay there for a week and a half. And like, they kind of bet on me, you know? And that was really cool. Uh, so I fly out there because I'm like, I'm gonna figure this out. And um, I go to school there for a week. It was really intensive. Uh, Tony really took me under his wing and he's a master of his craft. And there's a lot of funny stories of, of being at school. And But I was, you know, the only female there, which is not yeah. new to me in this industry. Uh -huh. um, I actually think it's pretty fun. <laughs> I mean. And uh, yeah, so I come back and tell my business partner at the time, I was just like, okay, here's how you make the dough and here's how you do this. And I got to tell you everything before I forget. And so we did, and it really changed everything. And so the dough recipe that we use at Empire to this day is the recipe that we developed at school. Wow. I use the exact same tomatoes that he taught me to use. And, uh, the other thing you cannot skip on at Empire is the shredded mozzarella, and it has and always will be 100% whole milk mozzarella, um, even though it's, you know, one and a half times the price it was in 2020 mm -hmm. right now, which mm -hmm. hurts, but we 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 can't stray from that. It's yeah. made us who we are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's what happened, and Empire was born, and we keep arguing. We're like, was it August or September of 2013? We're going to figure that out because our 10-year anniversary is this year. Okay. So we got to nail it down so we can throw throw the party. Yeah.